What's up, everybody? We're live! Hey, you're there. Um, it's really dark on the screen. Um, Annabelle, can you come plug in the tree? If I get down there on my hands and knees to plug in the tree, I will not get back up. Um, but that'll get some light on my face so that I'm not just a big black blob reading a book. Um, to everyone here, they can hear me and see me and it'll be glorious. Don't knock over the ornaments, silly. I was well, you were trying not to. Obviously. She's gonna turn on your light, but she's old peas. Well, yeah, that, there's a reason I asked for what I asked for, and not the thing you tried to do. There we go. We're gonna have the tree going. Hey, what is up? It's gonna do weird things for a few, and that's okay. I don't need it doing anything specific. I just need light on my face. And the bell has an ornament stuck in her hair, which is odd. Okay. Hi, everyone. If you watch my face, you'll see it strobe, which hopefully will not give me a seizure. Hooray. Leave the mode. No, leave the mode. All right. We're going to read. Tonight is chapter two of TikTok of Oz, the eighth book in the Oz series. Uh, last night we met Anne, uh, so forth. The queen, of, well, she's a princess of Oogaboo. The queen and king, like, vanished. So she's kind of the acting queen at this point of Oogaboo. <laughs> she's decided she's bored of Oogaboo. She's going to go take over the land of Oz. So she recruited 17 of the 18 men in her town to be her army. Because apparently you can take over Oz with 17 people. Even though, if I recall correctly, there was a book a couple books ago... Where, like, they gathered all of the worst villains in, like, the in the entire land of Oz. And all the, the first and foremost of the phantasms. And, and all the terrible gnomes and all the other bad, bad, bads. And Ozma and her crew kind of stopped them. But we got 17 guys, one of whom has a gun. And apparently they're going to take over Oz. Because that seems like a good idea to Queen Anne, so forth, of Oogaboo. Chapter 2 is called Out of Oogaboo. And if their invasion goes anything like the invasion of the Phanphasms, Chapter 3 will probably be called Right the Heck Back into Oogaboo. But I guess we'll find out right now as we read Chapter 2. Three days later, the Grand Army of Oogaboo assembled in the square in front of the Royal Palace. The 16 officers were attired in gorgeous uniforms and carried sharp, glittering swords. The private had picked his gun, and although it was not a very big weapon... Files tried to look fierce and succeeded so well that all his commanding officers were secretly afraid of him. The women were there, protesting that Queen Anne so forth had no right to take their husbands and fathers from them. But Anne commanded them to keep silent, and that was the hardest order to obey they had ever received. The Queen appeared before her army dressed in an imposing uniform of green, covered with gold braid. She wore a green soldier cap with a purple plume in it, and looked so royal and dignified that everyone in Oogaboo except the army were glad she was going. The army was sorry she was not going alone. Form ranks! she cried in her shrill voice. Sal Ye leaned out the palace window and laughed. I believe your army can run better than it can fight, she, cheer she observed. Of course, replied General Bun proudly. We're not looking for trouble, you know, but for plunder. The more plunder and the less fighting we get, the better we shall like our work. For my part, said Files, I prefer war and carnage to anything. The only way to become a hero is to conquer, and the storybooks all say the easiest way to conquer is to fight. That's the idea, my brave man, agreed Anne. To fight is to conquer, and to conquer is to secure plunder, and to secure plunder is to become a hero. With such noble determination to back me, the world is mine. Goodbye, Sally. When we return, we shall be rich and famous. Come, generals. Let us march. At this, the generals straightened up and threw out their chests. Then they swung their glittering swords in rapid circles and cried to the colonels, Forward, march! Then the colonels shouted to the majors, Forward, march! And the majors yelled to the captains, Forward, march! And the captains screamed at the private, Forward, march! So Files shouldered his gun and began to march, and all the officers followed after him. 
Queen Anne came last of all, rejoicing in her noble army, wondering why she had not decided to long ago conquer the world. In this order, the procession marched out of Oogaboo and took the narrow mountain pass which led into the lovely fairyland of Oz. Oh, and that is the end of chapter two. That was an incredibly short chapter. Uh, chapter three, tomorrow night, magic mystifies the marchers. So it sounds like they're going to get confused. Not surprising. This is not a very well thought out plan. Um, so for now, I'm going to say good night to everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock Facebook Live, for Chapter 3 of TikTok of Oz. Good night, everyone.